why does power corrupt? Well, let's take a look at the human species. Uh, humans are compassionate and loving, gracious, kind, generous people. Uh, we are simultaneously greedy, jealous, envious, angry. We were mixed back. And if you give one of the human species power, which part of ourselves uses it? Love? <laughs> Love <laughs> does not need power, people. It flowers from the heart. Grace? <laughs> Grace certainly uh, needs no power. Compassion, generosity. No, these are simply things that flow. Why does power uh, from our good nature? What uses power? Well, <laughs> greed uh, certainly needs power, doesn't it? If you have enough power, you can take any fucking thing you want. Uh, anger, oh, well, anger definitely <laughs> would love some power, <laughs> would it not? <laughs> Envy? Well, with power, uh, whatever you're envious of, you can duplicate uh, on your own. No, it is that negative, unsocial, not life-supporting part of the human animal that needs power. Nothing else needs power. And so we give people power over others through government, through military. And we expect... Uh, <laughs> them not to be corrupt. Wake up, people. Be very cautious who you give power to. The deep state is a conspiracy theory of, of uh, it's defined as the people within the U.S. government and military who are in secret control of government policy. <laughs> secret? <laughs> Please, people. The deep state is those people within the U.S. government that are career employees that cannot be fired by people that we elect by the Congress or the President. Um, there are the FCC, the, uh, the CIA, the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, the IRS. Are these people in control? Can they enact laws? Fuck yes. They're called regulations for Every law that Congress passes, and we elect Congress to pass our laws, uh, 